Chris, what have we got going here? We have a known as a Curry Point engine. Okay. And it's a beautiful example of both paramagnetism and ferromagnetism. At the end of this little copper pendulum is a sample of nickel. Now nickel at room temperature is ferromagnetic and is attracted to these magnets. You can see here on the end. However, when the nickel reaches a temperature of around 670 degrees Celsius, it becomes paramagnetic and is not as strongly attracted to the magnet. So what's going on here is first it goes in the flame, becomes paramagnetic, falls, but then it cools rapidly and is again attracted because it is once again ferromagnetic. So it goes between those two states quite rapidly as you can see.